What's up everyone, Fino here. So this is our first raid event, Rashomon. The idea is that you bully the fuck out of Ibaraki Doji, though uh, realistically, she'll be doing the bullying. First of all, America is required. <laughs> There's a statement. America. So the goal is to beat your own encounters, which chips away at Ibaraki's worldwide health bar. Now this might seem like a race, but don't worry. If she dies prematurely, you can pay BP to reopen her raids for the day. Now this is the event that introduces battle points. Uh, these regenerate 1 per hour, up to a cap of 6. And you need these to enter Ibaraki's raid battles. And you'll get stuff to restore it during the course of the event. Yo, is that... A jelly donut? Let's see, your immediate goal is to get and limit break Legend of... Uh, the Ushiwakamaru Craft Essence. Just, just max it ASAP. Afterwards, you want to hunt down copies of Golden Carp Figure, which is a 50% party-wide buff per copy. So unless you're farming gourds, you want to keep them separate and equip them all. The battle itself has quite a bit going on. There is a 15 turn limit, so stall teams are mostly useless. Uh, you'll get credit for surviving, but no drops and uh, low DPS. Both of those will make actually completing the event very difficult, so, you know, just don't. Let's see. So next up we have Ibaraki's Noble Phantasm, which will purge all buffs on its target, even if it survives. Both craft essences drop from Ibaraki, so farm the easiest raid to get some before moving up. If you're unlucky, you can just get Carp from the prize ladder and uh, Ushi from the shop. Let's see, except for Ibaraki, enemy classes change every day. Uh, this includes her Yaoi hands. With those, you'll want to leave them up until their NP turn, and then blow them up. They dilute Ibaraki's card pool and limit the damage you can take, but letting them NP is uh, usually out of the question. She also gets a special debuff skill that changes every day. Crit damage on day 1 and star gen on day 4 stand out to me as being especially dangerous. The general strategy with this encounter is to use the first wave to set up overkill turns to get Noble Phantasm Charge and Stars. The turn limit doesn't start until the last encounter, but don't fuck around too much or Ibaraki will blow up your weakened party. However you build your team, you have to kill Ibaraki or survive. Option 1 is a lot more efficient for farming, so I'll explore some options. So in discussion threads, Rama's been coming up quite a bit. And if you have him, you're in luck. His Noble Phantasm has an overcharge effect, which makes him deal extra damage versus demons. Uh, there are ways to abuse this, like with Edison's third skill or having him at the end of a triple NP chain. Otherwise, any single target servant is a good pick for your Ushiwakamaru craft essence. Ogita, Skaha, Dantes, Jalter, Kojiro, Carmilla, Jack, Assassin Shiki, Okita, Kaisar, Caesar, uh, Nero Bride, Billy the Kid, Ku Cullen, and uh, Li Xuan come to mind. Gilgamesh and Iskandar are fine too. They also give you a way to blow up the hands. So I would avoid uh, Uriel and Orion because their kit is made for man hating. Though, uh, that said, Oni Shota's better watch out. So what I'll probably do on top of this is run an AoE character with uh, K-Scope or some other Noble Phantasm craft essence. Depending on the day I might run a Saber or Salter, but this slot is flexible. Uh, if you have your own waiver, you could run that here instead. Number 3 can be whatever, a buffer or a taunter. Keep in mind that Ibaraki's NP is single target, so you can have Mash take one for the team. Uh, alternatively, Kiritsugu can make anyone take one for the team. Now, I haven't been able to verify this, but I'm reading that her buff purge works in a way that it'll deal damage and then remove buffs, but before the game checks for death effects. In other words, she'll remove guts and you'll die anyway. Pretty fucked up. Even more considering the game doesn't give that same allowance to uh, Medea's Rule Breaker. As you beat Ibaraki, you'll accumulate damage points, and this does two things. First, it's how you complete daily missions, which you'll get in addition to uh, the usual weeklies. Second, there's a prize ladder, and you'll need uh, 300 million to max it out. The rewards themselves are kind of a mixed bag. Uh, there are a lot of gold rewards, but um, you get like one each time. Also, someone did the math, and you'll have to start doing the most difficult raid at some point, if you want to get that last column. Let's see, some uh, loose ends. If you're into collecting craft essences, the Gacha CE Burning Love Story is of interest. It gives 25% damage against males and a 12% debuff rate, so it has quite a few applications. Oh, apparently there's also a glitch, and at some point in the story you fight Shuten Doji, and uh, damaging her counts for Ibaraki quests. It's racism. Anyway, that's all I got. Uh, good luck and watch your back, or she'll turn you into Goatsy. If you enjoyed this video, by all means like, sub, and tell your friends. Not about this channel. Tell him that Shuten is a cool dude, who might be getting a servant guide real soon.